Today we are going to talk about sealing systems. For steam turbines, also often called gland seal. These are systems that prevent air from entering or steam from leaving the turbine. Our turbine is then composed of an inlet system and steam outlet, probably a condensing turbine. You will have superheated steam entering and steam exiting, exhausted at a lower atmospheric pressure. The turbine can also be a back pressure turbine, where the output will be. The turbine can also be a back pressure turbine, where the output will be. The turbine can also be a back pressure turbine, where the output will be. The turbine can also be a back pressure turbine, where the output will be. A pressure above atmospheric pressure and, finally, avoid contamination of the oil. Bearing lubrication. The steam that is coming out, mainly from the high pressure bearing on the left turbine bearing. It can contaminate the turbine or the turbine lubrication system. Water and oil do not mix, so the result is contaminated oil. With water is, among other things, corrosion in the bearing system. Change in viscosity, in short, is a big problem for the turbine. If it starts receiving condensate from the steam system, the standards governing sealing systems. There are two main standards, API and NEMA. In this case we are talking about general purpose turbines, API 611 and NEMA. SM22, for special purpose turbines, API 612 and NEMA SM23. Let's now take a look at some sealing models for machines. Condensing, total condensing turbines, for example. Not necessarily total condensation, but extraction and condensation. Can also follow this type of sealing. The first sealing we have, we call it manual sealing. In fact, this sealing is no longer permitted by a PI 612 standard. But old machines, machines from the 60s, 70s, they may still have this sealing stamp. Because at the time it was allowed. What do we have here? Basically our sealing system consists of a vapor. Intermediate pressure. We will take and admit steam into the turbine, back and forth. Remembering that this steam is admitted when the turbine is stopped. Because the standard requires that the turbine itself, when in operation, it seals the machine itself. Then the steam will come out in that direction. Excess steam is controlled by this valve. Which is what happens if we have as much steam as possible. Open this valve and align part of this steam to the condensate system. Or systems where the latest API 612 version is already valid. They are basically already automated systems. So what do we have here when the turbine is stopped? The intermediate steam. It comes and feeds both sides of the turbine. We have a pressure transmitter here. Which will read the pressure that is in this header. And carry out the control on a pressure indicator controller previous system it is made up of two chimneys in this case we don't have chimneys api 612 he comments that a condensation system must be introduced into the turbine to prevent this type of vapor from contaminating the lubrication bearings the incondensables are then separated inside the exchanger and go to a vacuum pump or even an air blower and now we are talking about sealing machines counter pressure steam what is the difference here? The difference these back pressure machines don't have. The generation of vacuum. Finally, the last stage of the labyrinth system. Sends the condensate to the collection point in the disposal network. And we have the chimneys here, where we can check. How is the sealing part of this machine? A lot of steam is coming out. Which is to avoid using a pipeline. The low pressure header. Where the machine itself that it. It captures both both sealing systems and sends it to a pressure controller as a pressure controller what will this controller do this psv is a self-piloted valve that we can see here the steam outlet as well then the maze follows the same strategy when we come to a capacitor the plc will perform the calculation and the control of the valve that will inject the water let's notice that we still have a psv here in case of overpressure PSV will open. We have the turbine conditioning system, we open it to the atmosphere. To warm up the section, 